quick look at the insides. I was never given lines at school. You know, Even like, when you've done something wrong? Yeah, and I don't know if they, it happens now with children today, but it obviously was a time where if you did, I will not lie or I will not hit my friend on the head, you know, it, and I never was given... Were you? Yes. What, what would the... I'm going to try write one for you now that yeah. you need to what write out the... 100 times through the programme. <laughs> OK, yeah, let's, let's see what he comes up with, shall we? <laughs> Wait, well, we he's thinking... To... No, let's not no, do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> Twitter might go mad. Um, just uh, the reason I'm talking about this is um, there's been a discovery that the practice of writing de lines dates back more than 2,000 years. So what's happened is um, a cache of 18,000 ancient Egyptian notebooks has been found and it's revealed that in the day-to-day -day life of people in the time of um, Ptolemy VII, father of Cleopatra, who reigned in the first century BC, um, they're pieces of limestone pottery and they're used as an alternative to um, papyrus um, paper. It basically shows shopping lists, trade records and schoolwork, right? And um, more than 100 evidences of schoolwork look suspiciously familiar to those who have experienced detention. When you, you used to write, to write lines over and over, again. over and over again to get it into your head. Perhaps it was just an easy punishment, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, and they've compared it, obviously, to The Simpsons, you know. Bart, Bart Simpson's at the front of that. The, the title sequence would always have lines, wouldn't it? Um, have, you de have you decided what I'm going to be writing? <laughs> no, I started writing a few things and decided just, no, it's not really going to work. Uh, this story, is, this is a story from the mirror. Apparently, uh, a crook, such an old-fashioned word, a, a crook, isn't it? A crook pretending to be Sir Ian McKellen was wearing a face mask. So presumably a, a Sir Ian McKellen face mask has fleeced around 400 autograph hunters. So uh, they've all paid, apparently, between 75 and 100 pounds to have personal items sent in. Um, some spotted the signature was a fake, returned the goods. It, so Ian confirmed he was not at the event. This was at Canary Wharf in East London, apparently, last Wednesday. And uh, he's gone on to say, legendary actor has gone on to say, I'm sorry to anyone who sent in photos and items to be signed by this impersonator. I never attended signings. Beware of imposters. And apparently, this person in an Ian McKenna mask had turned up at the event with kind of minders, sort of, who, who were kind of looking after them. You'd think you'd I, know when, that, when I you? Read someone mask, wearing a mask? Well, when I read mask, I didn't take it like that. I thought it was like, as in a face covering. So, uh, an older gentleman, so, it was wearing ah. a face covering, and then they perhaps just thought, oh, yeah, it's definitely Ian McKenna, because they had similar... Up no, you're probably right. So, so yeah. he, he comes out with a booming yeah. voice. I don't think it saying, was like... I a, am Ian yeah, McKenna, yeah, 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 mask. Yeah. And they believe it. Maybe. It's a much more Maybe. plausible explanation, but, but my thought process, which was uh, he <laughs> you was know, wearing one of those, I mean, you know, I, those I'm, cheap kind of fancy dress yeah, masks. Although I must say, when I wear a Charlie mask and I go out, yeah, everyone completely thinks it's you. Mm. Glad um, we started I'm getting, that. I'm getting messages from our production team saying, how were you never given lines? That I don't know. Um, Kate, I'm going to call her out on her. She says, her words, I was a menace. So obviously, Kate must have very neat handwriting. I bet Matt Taylor was... What do you think? Never. I think never given lines. Matt, at school for detention? Never. Never got a line. Never got a detention either. Far too good, wasn't it? Oh, Rick, you've never had a detention? No. We can fix that. We can fix <laughs> that. <laughs> Let's it's see how you do since, today, it, really? shall we? Let's see. Pe peaked at school and it's all gone downhill. <laughs> anyway, very good morning. Uh, probably detention uh, after I've seen uh, this uh, weather for the weekend.